Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to grow this cathedral in After Effects. You can grow any building in After Effects, but we're gonna grow a cathedral today. So let's grow some cathedrals. Okay, so for this effect we need to separate the cathedral from the background and we need a clean image of the background and the cathedral as a separate layer. Actually separate layers, but I'll show you what I mean in a second. So we need to get a frame from this video and we need to bring it in Photoshop. So I'll come to the first frame. I'll click B and N on the keyboard and I will export the first frame. So add to render queue. I will select PNG, save it. Yeah, that's fine. Let's export the frame. Cool. So we're in Photoshop now. To separate the building, I am actually going to use the pen tool. And this is the most time consuming part of the whole effect going around your building. And I just want to give you a quick tip that I haven't done in this actual example. But if you shoot your building, doesn't matter if it's a cathedral or a tower or a chimney or whatever, if you shoot it, it's better to shoot it from down and look into the top, like looking upwards. Because if you shoot like me with a drone looking downwards, then um, the background is some buildings and some roads and it's actually really difficult to clean. And if I actually shot it looking towards the sky and had the sky as a background, it was going to be a lot easier to clean it up. Let's get the pen tool and let's start uh, going around the building. So this is the pen tool. I will duplicate the layer. I never work on the original layer. I always want to have it as a, um, as a backup. So I just duplicate it and let's start going around the building. Okay, so I'm done with going around the building with the pen tool. Uh, let's create a selection now. So I'll go into paths, click with the right button and come on, make selection. I don't need feather radius, radius. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And I'll come back to layers and I'll, while I've selected the, the background copy, I'll click on control plus J and this would actually bring our cathedral on a separate layer and it's just the cathedral. Cool. Here you can see there's a bit of sky so I'll just go with the erase tool and I'll just remove it. I'm not being really accurate. I can do it with a mask, it's gonna be a lot better but that's fine. So now I would hold control and I would click on the new layer that we made with the cathedral and you can see that we've made a selection. That's great. So let's come to select and modify expand and expand it by four pixels that's fine and i'll turn off this one for a second now so you can see and i'll duplicate the background copy i want to have another copy you don't need to do it i just want to do it like that it's a lot cleaner for me and now i'll click with the right button while selected this one uh, i would actually click on the how's it called selection tool rectangular marquee tool. So, so I would click on with the right button and I would click on fill and content aware. And right now it's gonna do a pretty okay job I think. Uh, you can see, <laughs> so, so right now we're gonna get some result. It's not gonna be perfect. I wanna stress that it's not gonna be perfect. But if you shot it looking at the sky, it, you wouldn't get this result. Right now I would make my best to clean it up, uh, but even if it's not really clean, it's still gonna be okay because we showed the footage for just like under a second. So people uh, probably won't notice how much I messed it up, but let's see what I can do. So I'll click on control D to remove the selection. And now I would start going with the lasso tool where I see that there's a problem. And I would start first of all with the content aware tool. And when I get to some places where I can't clean it up anymore. I would start going with the clone stamp tool. So I'm trying not to mess up these parts here with the road because the cars are gonna be passing by. So I'm actually just trying to remove the building here and sort of make the mess on the background work, but it's okay. You know, you can see that here that we have some duplicates 
I'm pretty sure nobody would notice that, but we can just go around with the content aware tool and remove those quickly. Okay, so this is not perfect by any means, but it's gonna do the job. So first of all, I wanna save this background. So I'll click on uh, save as, and I would save a PNG. Okay, so now we have the cathedral and we have the background. So we've separated them. Okay, so I want to separate this tower, the background tower and this one, this one, this one, this one. You know, I, I want to separate some objects from this cathedral. So let's start by first separating this tower. I'm not going to show you how to separate each little element as I've done in the example in the beginning because it's going to take too long. But I'm going to show you the basic principle on how you can separate them in Photoshop and you can do it later by yourself. So I'll take the pen tool again and I will duplicate this cathedral layer. Okay, so hide the one on the bottom for now. And I would quickly go around this tower where I want to animate it. So I'm looking for lines here. So it's best if you find some lines in your building it's going to be a lot easier to hide the cuts. And I'll go to paths. I'll click with the right button, make selection, okay. And right now I've got this selection. So while I've clicked on this layer, I would click on Ctrl plus J, okay. So right now on a separate layer, we've got just this tower. And on the bottom layer, we still got the whole cathedral. So from the bottom layer, we need to remove this part of the tower. On this new layer that we've just created, I'll click here with control and this selects the layer and I'll come to the bottom one now that still has the whole cathedral and I would click on out, out on PC, it's going to be option on Mac and I would click on the mask tool here and we've just removed this part of the tower and I just need to apply the mask and now we've got the tower on the top and we've got the bottom layer that misses the tower. Okay, let's continue. So I'll hide this layer, I'll select the pen tool again and I'll just quickly select it so we don't waste any time. So let's say that it's a accurate selection and I'll go to path, click with the right button, make selection, okay. Come back to layers. While I've clicked on this layer, I'll click on Ctrl plus J. So right now we've got this part separated. I would click on control and on this layer. This makes a selection around the layer. I would come back on the layer that still has this part of the cathedral. I'm holding Alt on the keyboard and clicking on the mask. So this removes this part and we have it just on the top now. And I would click on apply layer mask. Cool, so we've got three parts of the cathedral now. So this is the one that we've just created, which is a rough so it's just for a tutorial but i've actually already created a lot more detailed one like each of the layers is going around the lines and i've got a lot more objects to animate here so that's the one i'll be using in after effects oh, everything that i've done is just clicked on save as and save the psd so just yes save as a psd that's it and now we can go into after effects so when you're importing a file from photoshop you click on composition retain layer size and now we can import it and here you get the same thing so composition retain layer size so that's the one we need and we get a separate composition with just our cathedral and here is each one of the cuts so let's animate those cuts now so the first one is the bottom layer so this thing i want to animate it coming from above so i'll come to about one second okay in the beginning i'll move it up out of screen so okay so that's fine so it's coming from top down it's falling down we can change the speed later on we can turn on the rest of the layers now so i'll turn off the background one staying in my way and right now i'll click on each of those the ones on the top i'll come to one second I want to animate the position. So they should start animating after this one comes into place. So I will move them here. Okay. And the first one that we need to animate, this one. So if we want to animate the movement, you can see that we need to move this layer 
behind the bottom one so we can animate it be coming from behind okay so I'll put this keyframe here and in the beginning I'll move it behind it okay so it's moving up so let's move the rest of the layers behind one another so I would start moving them in the same order so I'll move them like this so this one should come okay cool i usually i what I, what I like to do here is just move all the keyframes to the right okay come to the beginning and move them all down and now we can just start playing around with the timing so I'll just move them sequentially now so the next one that comes up is this one okay so after that is this one so okay we've got this one we want to sort of move them at the same speed at the same time okay this one as well I'll just move them like that okay okay let's see what we've got okay so we've got some work to do so before this one comes up we need to get this one so this one is the last one and this one is actually this one should be behind it okay we can move them around a bit more but you get the idea you can just play around with the timing if something shows up oops here we've got something that shows up i think it's this one yep so we can move a couple of frames here and just cut it okay and there you have it and now we select everything and we click on this motion blur tool and now we've got motion blur which is gonna help with the animation quite a bit cool so this is the animation it's nothing too complicated and but now let's see something that's kind of important so right now we've just got the animation on a steel image let's see how we can add it to the original video that we had in the beginning so we need to track the original video so i'll come to the original composition here and now i will add this composition that we've just created with the cathedral building up and i would actually go to the cathedral here and i would get the background layer so control exit and move it here okay and i want to create a mask so i'll just click on the pen tool and the mask that i want to create is should be something like that i don't want to come into the car here because i know that the car is going to be passing by all right so something like that if you see that i start moving the playhead there's a bit of movement from the drone it's not completely static if you do it on a tripod you you don't need to do this step but i haven't done it on a tripod i've done it with the drone so i actually need to do this step so i need to come to the uh, to the original layer and I would click on track motion if you don't have it you can come to window tracker and you, you're gonna see it so track motion I would click on position and rotation and I've got these two track points so I'll select this car here and I would also select another static point something that I know is not gonna be moving so one of these car cars should do the job so let's say this one click on play okay so we've tracked about seven seconds of the footage this is more than enough so i'll just cut the whole footage here the whole composition so now we need to create a new no object so i'll create new no objects here's the no and i'll come back to the tracker and i'll click on edit target click on no okay and i will click on apply okay so we've now moved the the whole tracking information to this now so right now i will parent the cathedral and the background plate to our no 
So they're going to be following the now, but I'll, I'll do it from the first frame because we took the first frame from the video. So that's where we've built the whole animation on. So I'll uh, parent them to the now. And now we can turn them on and we can play the animation. All right, so cool. So there you have it. So now you've got the animation, but we also have the cars moving and boom, there we have the whole animation. So yeah, guys, this is the effect. If you liked it, drop a like, leave me a comment and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if there is a tutorial or something that you want to learn. I'll be really happy to hear from you. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys.